Hi there, Roma Girl readers. It's Mary Kirby coming at you a little bit less uh, high tech this week. We're doing a little bit of a basic webcam just, just simply because there's so much going on in the industry and I'm absolutely exhausted. So I hope you bear with me. Um, I do think this is kind of an important topic uh, despite our low tech approach. And that is the, uh, the upcoming Hamburg um, interior show. Now this is, this is really significant for a couple of reasons. Um, this year, some major in-flight entertainment and connectivity players are making their presence known at the interior show. And this says a lot. It says that we can no longer think about interior is kind of as a, something exclusive to IFE. They are inextricably linked and um, and you're going to see that at the show uh, but because you're going to have interiors and IFE players um, uh, uh, side by side and 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 hopefully working together because that's what they need to be doing. Uh, carriers uh, can no longer afford to discount the importance of uh, in-flight entertainment and connectivity, and so it's really essential for folks to look at them both uh, together, uh, you know, in one space. Uh, not dissimilar from last year at the World Airline Entertainment Association um, uh, annual conference, interior show uh, ran side by side with that. And, and that made a, a ton of sense. But I am not, unfortunately, going to be at Hamburg uh, on uh, March 31st, March 31st, which is it really quite unfortunate. But if I was going, I would have a wish list of people that I would love to go see. Uh, in the interior side, there's a number of companies that really just stand out. And it almost goes without saying, but um, the likes of Design Q and James Park Associates are doing some truly exciting things in that space. Uh, James Park Associates, in fact, is going to um, unveil its brand new Cirrus C uh, that is kind of a more cost conscious uh, but still high end approach to, uh, to business class seating. Um, I'd also want to talk to my friend Indy who is uh, the, the brainchild behind um, the air sleeper that we've featured a number of times on this blog. And, uh, and frankly, you know, it's a great idea that he's got. And, and, and if you guys are out there and you see Indy, flag him down because, you know, let him tell you about this product. It, it could potentially change the way uh, economy class uh, passengers are treated. Um, in terms of in-flight entertainment manufacturers and, and, and uh, connectivity players, the person to see in Hamburg is row 44. They are really going to make their presence known. And why is it so important? Row 44 is a hair's breadth away from receiving uh, permanent FCC authority to uh, to offer its service. You know, it's been trialing on Southwest Airlines and Alaska Airlines, but this is big time because Southwest Airlines, once it gets permanent approval from the FCC, it's going to inject some competition into the marketplace, which we love. It's also going to mean that we're going to start seeing uh, overseas connectivity. I mean, row 44 is going to be able to offer uh, passengers the type of service that Boeing's connection service offered years ago. So there's a whole lot going on. That would be my wish list. Um, but since I'm not going, um, say hi to everyone for me and have fun without me, if you can.